-hmm. How do you open, whether you're in politics or op you know, in, in business, you know, open minds to accepting the potential you know, risks. I have two great business partners, one of which kind of calculates all the risks and makes sure we're not being too risky. But you know, my job is to always push the envelope. Um, and when we fail, we have to you know, write it off, continue to grow. Because as a business, that should be it. It should be innovation. It should be something new. You should always be trying to push the envelope. And when you do not achieve your goal, because you never fail or screw up, when you do not achieve the goal that you've set, and, and it's a failure for whatever purposes, you know, you have to you know, evaluate it and hopefully make it be a learning experience. Um, however, in government, that's completely different. Failure can't happen in government. You know, they always say, why don't we run government as a business? Well, because businesses fail. They go out of business. That can't happen for a government. When a city, when a city uh, goes bankrupt, it is absolutely crippling to all the people there. So there's a lot more red tape. There's a lot more stopping you from doing risks. So you're, you're much more limited in what you can do. You, unless the, the only risky things you can do in government is spend less, not spend more. Uh, so there's a, there was a different perception. I think that's one of the reasons why um, I maybe left politics early at a young age was because uh, you couldn't take as much risk. I can take a lot more risk in the private sector and see a lot more reward than I could in the public sector. Um, so when I'm young and I'm idealistic and I'm full of passion, I'm going to take as much risk as I can in the business sector, see if that pans out for a positive thing, and then maybe go back to the public sector where it's less risky.